Low temperatures tonight. They're going to get chilly, but not quite as cold as they were last night. We'll drop it to 28 in Pueblo with 30 degrees as your overnight low in Colorado Springs. Teens and 20s expected across the high country. High temperatures tomorrow, they're not going to be that bad. In fact, tomorrow, not a terrible day, at least during the daylight hours. 57 degrees in Colorado Springs tomorrow, 65 in Pueblo. Still getting into the 60s and 70s for the southeastern corner of this state. It is going to be a bit windier tomorrow, especially south of Highway 50. Fire danger will be high in this area, so please be very careful as you are spending time outside. Again, for most of the day tomorrow, we're really not going to have much to track. We'll take you through about lunchtime. You'll see plenty of clear skies across the plains. We'll start to get a few clouds around noon, spreading into the western slope. As we take you into tomorrow afternoon. The showers are going to become more widespread across the high country. Here's a look at 3 o'clock, but again, everything along and east of I-25 still staying dry. We'll take you into 7 o'clock. The storms across the high country, they're going to become even more widespread. The coverage and intensity both will be increasing as we take you into tomorrow evening. Most of these showers, though, staying west of the interstate. It won't be until later tonight when we start to see a few more of these showers pushing into the, the Pikes Peak region first, and that's because our cold front will have arrived by midnight tomorrow night. It's going to move through sometime between 9 o'clock and midnight, depending where you are in southern Colorado. Around midnight, storms will begin sliding south from Denver into the Palmer Divide. We are expecting snow to impact the Palmer Divide Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Here's a look at 3 o'clock in the morning. Denver getting some fairly heavy snow, as will places like Monument, east across the northern portion of El Paso County. Teller County also under the gun for snow through early Wednesday. We'll stop the clock again at about 8 o'clock in the morning. This is when we'll still see quite a bit of snow along the Palmer Divide. So if you are traveling over the divide early Wednesday, Expect a tough commute. If you are traveling to Denver, it will take you longer Wednesday morning because we're not only going to be tracking snow, we'll also be tracking anywhere from 35 to up to 50 mile per hour gusts. Blowing snow will cause some major visibility issues. Taking you into lunchtime, though, this is a quick moving storm. So by noon, everything gets out of here. We should see clearing skies, and anything that does accumulate on the roads should very quickly melt as we take you into your Wednesday afternoon. But again, Wednesday morning, that is the time frame that I am most concerned about travel, especially if you are heading over I-25 over Monument Hill or into Teller County. Temperatures on Wednesday, 45 degrees will be your high temperature. 40s expected on Thursday. We're back in the 50s and 60s Friday through Saturday, staying dry into early next week. In Pueblo, 65 will be your high temperature. It won't be until tomorrow night when we'll see the chance for rain. Pueblo, you could have a snowflake or two mixed in, but don't expect to see any accumulation. 60s are expected this weekend, so things really turning around by Saturday and Sunday. Canyon City, 60 tomorrow, 49 on Wednesday. Fremont County, also not expected to see anything in the way of accumulation. 60s are expected, though, to return this weekend. In Teller County, Teller County, you are expected to see some accumulation anywhere from 1 to 5 inches of snow, depending on what elevation you are at in Teller County. Pikes Peak could get about four to seven inches of snow. Wednesday morning again, Highway 24 likely going to be one of our hot spots for trouble areas. So plan on it now. You will need extra time Wednesday morning, but by Wednesday afternoon, the sunshine should return. It's not going to help out with our temperatures, though. We're going to stay at 34 degrees Wednesday, dropping to 15 degrees Wednesday night. This is a fast moving storm system, though, so it moves out by Wednesday afternoon. Temperatures rebound nicely just in time for the weekend. But again, this will be the first time really where we'll have some wintry impacts for your morning drive. So I know it's only Monday, but yeah. Wednesday morning, plan on needing to leave early, especially over okay. the Palmer Divide, Teller County, Southeastern Plains. Think Pueblo along Highway 50 and southward. You're not going to see much of anything. So really, this is going to be a Pikes Peak region and westward type of event. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. All right, Thanks thank you, Rachel.